Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. In this problem you've been told to integrate negative 1 raised to power x with respect to x. Now to solve this kind of problem we shall utilize the Euler's equation. So Euler equation when you have exponential theta i it is given by cos theta plus i sin theta. So when theta is pi, remember pi radians is 180 degrees, where there is theta if you substitute with pi, we'll have exponential pi i to be equivalent to cos pi plus i sine pi. So if you substitute here, remember cos pi is like cos 180 degrees, it's going to be negative 1 plus i sine pi. Sine pi is sine 180 degrees, that is 0. So negative 1 plus i times 0 is 0, you will remain with negative 1. So it implies exponential pi i is the same as negative 1. So when you have negative 1 raised to power x, that is the same as exponential pi i raised to power x. So when you use the laws of indices there, the power outside multiplies the power inside, so we'll have exponential pi i x. So our integral integrate from 0 to 1 of negative 1 raised to power x dx is going to be the integral from 0 to 1. Negative 1 raised to power x we found is the same as exponential pi i x then times dx. So here we can now use algebraic substitution whereby you will say let u let u to be pi i x so if you differentiate u with respect to x du over dx pi i is a constant if you differentiate x you get 1 you remain with pi i so if you make dx the subject there you'll have du is pi i dx. So dividing both sides by pi i, if you divide both sides by pi i, we shall have du over pi i is the same as dx. So if you substitute that in your equation, so in your equation where we have the integral from 0 to 1 of exponential pi i x dx is the same as the integral if we leave alone the limits when we are substituting exponential pi i x we've said to be u so that is exponential u then dx we found is the same as du over pi i so pi i is a constant, you can factorize that outside, you have 1 over pi i, then the integral of exponential u du. So if you integrate exponential u, that is a standard function, it remains exponential u. So we have 1 over pi i exponential u. And remember, u, you substitute back the value of u, u was pi i x. So this is, you get... 1 over pi i exponential pi i x. Now, having found that, you can now inject back from 0 to 1. So, when you substitute the limits, the upper limit, you will have, whether it's x if you put 1, 
you will have 1 over pi i exponential pi i times 1. That is just exponential pi i. Then minus the lower limit, 1 over pi i exponential 0. So if you simplify that, you can see 1 over pi i is a common factor. Then here we'll have exponential pi i minus 1. Remember exponential raised to power 0 is 1. So 1 over pi i is a constant. So that is the solution of the problem. So if you like the video, subscribe.